Trauma is an emotional response to a terrible event, like an accident, rape, or natural disaster. Immediately after the event, shock and denial are typical. Longer term reactions include unpredictable emotions, flashbacks, strained relationships, and even physical symptoms like headaches or nausea. While these feelings are normal, some people have difficulty moving on with their lives. Psychologists can help with individuals find constructive ways of managing their emotions. I have found that using an emotional energy formula that includes Arnica can be very helpful when a person is overwhelmed by feelings where they have little control. Feelings due to events that happened that weren't necessarily their choosing. Hi, I'm Mary Bourne, traditional naturopath, and I love sharing natural remedies with people for better health. Natural remedies have been used by people for centuries, even thousands of years. And today we're going to talk about an aspect of natural remedies that I like to consider energy medicine. And these can work on children, uh, older people, people on medications, and often animals as well. Most of us at one time or another had an event occur where we simply couldn't believe what is happening. It could be an accident of some sort. It could be a, something that happened in the family, a death of a loved one. And oftentimes we view this in unbelief can't believe that this is happening to us. I could name a few where I was in total shock and then um, felt this unbelief. The sound or sounds that occur during a car crash, the scraping metal and the loud bang, and then the silence, it's surreal. I remember one time when I was driving, I was hit almost head on. It was my front left that this um, gentleman flew into. And I was traveling maybe 25 miles an hour where he was traveling much faster. It completely demolished the left side of my car. My first impulse was to put the car in park which is of course ridiculous. It made no sense because the car was at a dead stop and the drive shaft was totally damaged. There was no moving that gear shift. But you don't think with reason. When these things happen, sometimes instinct takes over and sometimes you just go into this shock and, and unbelief. And if this trauma stays ongoing, like in a kidnapping, it becomes your new normal. It certainly isn't your preferred normal. It's often someone else's control over your circumstances. You may learn to survive the situation, but you are not in control and you are in a state of shock and often denial. If you want your normal back, you need to do something about it. Death of a loved one can do this. We have to deal with all the arrangements, shove aside the feelings of grief. We need, we need to grieve, but we shove it down because there are too many other things to deal with. The importance of grief and telling others, letting others help us through this loss is something for another class. Oftentimes a person is so in shock, they can't handle the decision-making that comes with the trauma. They simply shut down. They go into shock and shut the world off. It is just too much to handle. When you have responsibilities like children, the trauma for them doubles, especially if they were involved. So like a car accident, these are times when family and friends step in to help. 
These are also times when you can either look to drugs to sedate or possibly some energy medicine that assists your body to heal with dealing with the trauma and shock. And that's when I depend on the flower essence of Arnica that includes some of the balancing other herbs. Having the love and understanding of a good friend or family member who is willing to hold you while you cry or listen to your rage is invaluable. Having a faith that you will heal and that there is a silver lining in your pain. You know, you often hear of a travesty and how it was the beginning of somebody's journey. And that through this horrible situation, their life changed immeasurably and it was for the good. So hard to see good when you're in the midst of this horrible pain. I love to refer to this image. We see a tapestry that oftentimes this is the side we see, this thread, loose thread, ugly side. But what God sees is the other side. And if we can just keep this image in our head that there is another side, there is another vision for us, it often will help us deal with the trauma. It'll help us overcome it. I've been helping people with emotional healing for over 40 years in my practice as a traditional naturopath. Emotions often get stuck and moving them is helped by flower essences and other techniques like tapping and neuroemotional technique. I'll leave links to these descriptions, um, these methods in the description below. But there are many ways to help you. You just need to find some of them that, that work for you. You know, they're not all gonna work for everybody. So find out what works for you. My YouTube channel focuses on herbs and food and natural remedies. Flower essences are not as well known as these other subjects. So I thought this year I am going to focus on some emotional healing because Lord knows we need it so much in this world that we're living in right now. The past two years have changed our lives in so many ways. Fear dominates our life in a way we haven't experienced. It's everywhere we look. The news, the people we come in contact with and our loved ones, it has become our new normal. The ability to think clearly and make good decisions based on what you know to be true is lost when a person is gripped by fear Fear drives people to follow a course and not even know why they're doing it. We need to break free from fear. And I feel that can be helped with the emotional remedy of the stress remedy. If you are complacent and stuck in this new normal of fear and anxiety, you won't be ready to break free. And that's okay. When you're ready, you will do it. Nobody can do it for you. We can only be there for you and pray for you. And that's so, so that you will be okay. You have to know where you are and whether you're ready for the next step. Taking a remedy like distress remedy helps one get back to our sense of well being and taking control. It helps one realize your strength and ability to make good decisions. It helps you stay centered and not be driven by someone else's agenda. It is safe for children and seniors as well as adults. It is in a glycerin base so anyone can take it. Usually it's taken by dropper full. It comes in a liquid that has a dropper um, top and you drop the uh, the liquid under your tongue and you hold it there and you take a couple of deep breaths 
And distress remedy is, especially when somebody's gone through some heavy drama, I let them hold it. And then every 10 minutes, take some more. And it's, it's an energy medicine. So even just holding it, you continue to get the calming energy from the bottle. But continually taking it helps our body to calm down. Not too long ago, there was a shooting at our local high school. This type of trauma is happening much too often. I certainly don't want this to be part of my normal, do you? This is a sign that children need help in understanding their emotions. Children need to learn respect, and that is learned through trust and caring. Obviously, there is a lot of healing that needs to take place. And if each of us work on the positive side of healing, we will accomplish our goals for peace and love. We will not accomplish those goals through finding fault and discrimination. So more traumas include job loss, moving, relationship problems, addictions of family members, weather disasters, and of course, health concerns. I so enjoy the results one gets when using these gentle yet effective remedies. Arnica is the base herb used in this formula, but there are six other balancing herbs that help make up this very helpful natural support for trauma. So along with Arnica is Star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem is, now this is Arnica and this is Star of Bethlehem. But just looking at that beautiful bloom gives you peace. It is recommended for people dealing with devastating events. It supports those going through inconsolable grief. A person who has completely shut down through disbelief and cannot cope with the situation or circumstances. These blooms embrace the earth and gather energy from being grounded. The remedy helps one gain perspective and provides a sense of inner security. The next is rock rose. Now this beautiful little yellow cheery flower helps us deal with fear. It has been added to this combination to assist the part of fear that can't be reasoned and often referred to as anxiety, panic, or terror. This emotion shows up in people who are startled easily or lash out without reason. It has been used to assist the dying with grace and acceptance. It is also a good remedy for nightmares that happen frequently. Sometimes it's the same nightmare that goes on and on and on. Or it is something that you get flashes of even during the day. There are histories of people using these remedies on the Flower Essence Society website. If you'd like to check more out, I'll leave a link in the description below. There's also a coupon link for 25% off the distress remedy when you use that link. The next is impatience, often referred to as Himalayan balsam. It's in this formula to help one deal with restlessness or compulsion to push through without thought. The physical manifestations include itching, high blood pressure, exhaustion, and unable to sleep. So you're exhausted, but you can't sleep. So they simply want to, the situation to be over with. They, they, they want tomorrow. They want next year they they just want to get this over with and this pattern is one of defeat and 
feeling as though nothing goes right for them. So if you feel like this, you might consider some distress remedy. Clematis is a vine-like plant that has beautiful blooms. The energy of this plant may help a person with scattered thinking or a sense of disconnect. The signature of a vining plant often will help a person realize they are not alone in the world and they sometimes have to seek out people to help them. When one feels alone, they experience depression and often this exhibits as suicidal tendencies or thoughts. Clematis tends to help one regain focus and promotes mental clarity. Cherry plum is called for when a person has gone through extreme trauma and or pain and fears they were falling apart or losing their mind. It's been used to help with temper tantrums, excessive destructive behavior and unreasonable fear. It has also been used on animals that have been trapped or abused to calm them when one can't reason. And of course, humans and animals, we don't talk the same language. Sometimes when you have a pet, you can communicate with them. But if you're running across an animal that's been injured, putting this remedy on their pads of their feet can cause them to be soothed and calmed so that you can take care of them. It helps them regain trust and that everything will be okay. And finally, there's red clover. Now we covered red clover in last week's class on Mountain Pride and in the formula, Be Courageous. It is a balancing remedy and in this combination supports those who are easily influenced by others or by their circumstances. So it's, <clears throat> they're reacting rather than acting. This is often helpful when there is discord in the family and young children absorb these negative energies and don't understand what's going on because they just can feel the tension. And so giving a child some distress remedy helps them calm down, helps them recognize that this is temporary, that everything will be okay. Distress remedy is a very helpful energy medicine that I feel every household should have at least one bottle of in their medicine chest. You never know when an accident's gonna happen or something, uh, some event's gonna occur that's going to throw you off your normal situation. So I realize this video is a little bit longer than my usual health to home classes, but let me tell you, I love to talk about these wonderful healing remedies. And I really feel that more people need to know about them. So if you would please share this video with others, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Comment if you've uh, used any of these supporting remedies before. I'd love to hear from you and how it worked for you. But food is our medicine. And <clears throat> And in 2022, we need to concentrate more on emotional healing because our emotions drive us to have physical health. So disease occurs when the body is out of balance. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't prescribe, I don't diagnose. And it's certainly not the purpose of these videos. Natural medicine, works with imbalances and our emotions can go out of balance just like our physical body. So if you have some private things that you wanna talk about, please email me, drmary at bornforhealth.com. 
I'd love to hear from you and support you in whatever way I can. Check out my <clears throat> channel for a wide selection of topics on herbs and gardening and other ways to maintain or, <clears throat> excuse me, gain your health. So be thankful for people and gifts of nature, the flowers and all the joy around you. I wanna thank you for viewing today. Um, until next time, this is Dr. Mary for the health of it.